Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing my 2021 bullet journal flip through. So the notebook I used for this year is this Archer and Olive in A5. So starting off, I just got my name in the front cover. Pretty simple here, nothing done too much. And I've got my first 2021 page. I've actually got a video for all the different themes and the setups that I did for my bullet journal this year. So if you want to check it out, you can check out my Bujo playlist or I'll put some of the videos in the eye above. So I've just got this little quote, make it happen. I really like this kind of theme for the setup because it's matching the actual notebook cover and I thought that was really nice. So I've got my goals here. I feel like, oh, well, I haven't actually ticked out any of them yet, but I don't know if it's a really good idea to have that many goals. Maybe it's better to focus on having a few goals, but I've also got monthly goals, so I guess it isn't too bad having quite a lot here, but maybe just a bit less, not too many, so it's easier to kind of do instead of overwhelming yourself for the year. Then I've also got my kind of reflection and new year resolutions that I did. So I've got my goodbye 2020, which were just some of my highlights from the year, what really worked in terms of my bullet journal, but just in general in life and also what didn't work and just a introduction to the new year. So I've got my hello 2021 and writing out some things that I want to feel, what I really want to invite into my life and what I want to let go of. And I thought this whole thing is really nice to kind of just end off the year and start the year on a good note. I also really liked my vision board, having kind of things that I want to get inspired by and having it in my bullet journal to see. So like I've got my decor, study, my health and stationery. So this is looking a little bit empty right now, but I'm definitely going to print out some photos from the year and some memories that I really enjoyed. Um, I'm just going to print it out and stick it on here, but I haven't really got to it yet. This is probably one of those is that I wouldn't include for next year. Maybe I will, but maybe a small one. I didn't really use it that much as you can see. There's not that many things that people kind of like recommended and I'd put down. So probably something I'd get rid of. However, my birthdays was a really good idea to remember everyone's birthdays as I am kind of forgetful. <laughs> so going into my first monthly. This is my January and I really liked how this like kind of black and white theme turned out. It was really nice to keep looking back on. There wasn't that many spreads. As you can see, I didn't really do that many spreads when I first started off. It was really just whatever I did in my videos, which probably weren't the greatest. Like I probably when I started like using it more I found it a lot more helpful like having other spreads than just the typical like I guess a to-do list and having more other spreads but here you can see kind of my failed attempt of February it wasn't too bad I just didn't like how it turned out that much so I've actually redid it and this is what you guys saw in my video my February theme I really liked how this one turned out and I think a lot of you guys liked it as well. This video was really quite popular. So here's where I still kind of did things based on different subjects that I had. Whereas later on I start doing things daily even though like because of kind of the schedule that lockdown gave. Daily actually wasn't that bad of an idea to do. So here I've got my March. So 
So as you can see, I don't really use habit trackers that much. Habit trackers are actually a really great way to like track all your habits and keep kind of productive. I just found that I didn't really use it that much at all. So I didn't really add it to any of my other months and probably something that I won't do. However, if I do like a month, I just feel like um, writing stuff out I don't think it's a bad idea just found it a bit hard keeping track especially when I didn't use my bullet journal as much as I would like to so another kind of failed attempt I guess um this was for I think April but I didn't really like how it turned out at all it was a good idea I guess but it was one of those months where you keep trying to add more and more and more and then the more you added the more ugly i guess it looked so it kind of scrapped this one and i did this kind of peter rabbit theme instead this one i've got to say was quite the minimal look in terms of the drawings and how it was placed and i just really liked how it looked here I actually used my brain dump but I did them into categories like prayer, thankful and thoughts which I thought was a great way. So yeah. And then I've got July. I did skip quite a few months if you didn't notice already um, as you'll see later on I didn't do every single month this year. It was a bit hard keeping up with it and I didn't want to force myself to like use it as I thought there's no point if I wanted a break I can take a break like if you guys feel as if you don't want to use it every month or a month just doesn't seem right you don't have to force yourself to use it I just feel like that defeats the purpose of it but I like how this turned out anyways after a while of bullet journaling I guess I like how I always do like some playlist it's nice to see the songs I kind of was listening to um mostly k-pop but yeah so as you can see skipped quite a few months again but I really wanted to do one for October as it was my birthday month as lockdown kind of was still happening like post pandemic I guess I was hard trying to find the right spreads that I wanted to use as all the routines were kind of all different and I just found that I wasn't using it all the time October was actually the month that I started using it more often like all the months before I kind of just did whatever I did in my videos but here you can see later on I actually start using it quite a bit so here's a new birthday time capsule that I thought was a really great idea so here you can see it was kind of becoming a bit like a journal which I think is fine as well I just had some goals kind of what my mood was my productivity levels and just some reflection of how the days kind of went I did like how I added some washi tape just to make it look a bit nicer but yeah it worked for the couple first weeks and then the second half of October I didn't really use it that much but I did start doing this rolling weekly which I thought is a great idea that I continued in November and December um, I really like how it's off by the week instead of daily and yeah I'll talk probably more about it later I did this little quote and my birthday kind of thing which I thought this looks really cool it's like a gradient coming down and yeah so November this is where Squid Game I guess came really popular and the first time I actually caught my notebook and I really like how this turned out still like this behind and how it really pops really made me happy and I just like this kind of Dutch door thing here and just all of this was really really nice so yeah here I've got my rolling weekly I really like how it's by um, the week so when I put down you're kind of meant to 
brain dump everything that you've got like in your mind things that you have to do small things big things anything you just put down that you want to do for the week and i really like how you can kind of soft schedule it and put down where you want to do it or where you have worked on it and you can do continuous days that you have and when you finished it completely you just put a line and cross it out and i just really liked how it was kind of going by week instead of by day so if i don't finish something on that day i can continue it to the next day without having to like repeat it however if i didn't finish it for that month i can always transfer it to the next week oh yeah and this favorite page still something i probably have to fill in um but it is quite a good idea it's just when i don't use my bullet journal that much and forget about it uh yeah i don't use it that much see here i only started from 13 because i didn't really use it that first half that much i used it more the second half so here was a bit different from my october i didn't want to just do like a reflection I really liked how I did this gratitude at the start of my day just for things that I'm really grateful for and I think it kind of sets the day up and makes it feel a bit more positive in the day instead of focusing like on the negative things. Also just a few tasks that I have for the day, not making it too complicated, um, also affirmation for something that I really want to like a quote or something positive to say to myself. I also had wins of the day, which wins, I tried not to make it the same as my tasks, just something that was kind of a win for the day, not like, oh, I read a book or something like that, something that wasn't a task and yeah. So this is my last month there's actually not that many um, months I guess in this flip through this year hopefully it's a lot more jam-packed next year and I use it a lot more often these past few months I've been finding my bullet journal more useful and I've been using it a lot more than I did like kind of last year and even the first months of this year I really like this little like advent calendar I think it's so cute and yeah here I've got my wish list I didn't write anything yet because I didn't want to spoil it for any of my family members in case they are watching so I still keep that a surprise and I'll fill it in later it is a bit blank right now as it is still December but as it go on I'll probably get a lot more filled um, this is it probably for my 2021 flip through um, my 2022 setup will be coming up soon so make sure to like this video comment down below if you've got any videos that you want to see me do next time make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell next to it to get notified each time I post a new video and yeah I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.